What's going on everybody, it is Brendan and welcome back to Dead Planet. So I just took a trip to a couple of thrift stores and I have to tell you, I'm actually really impressed with all of the bolos that are coming out of the thrift stores. I've been going to the Goodwill bins a lot more recently in lieu of hitting up the thrift stores, but I'm kind of back into the thrift store swing of things and they keep coming through. So I'm gonna keep riding their coattails. So a lot of things that I have featured for you in this video today, including a seasonal item that's still relevant in terms of sales that if you had passed on it based on its current condition, you might have missed out on a big bolo and then another one of those under the radar brands that sells so consistently that collabed with another brand and produced another amazing bolo. So I'm excited to feature that for you. I got a bunch in between, but for now, let's get into it. Okay, right off the bat, there's a bunch of carts out with a lot of new items. I didn't find a ton on these carts, but I've got a pair of shoes here that I really like, and you'll see them right there. So these are Saucony Kinvara 12s. They are the USA version. These are a women's size 10 and a half. Now, yeah, they want $20 for it, so a little bit pricey, but I mean, I can't complain. They look almost brand new. So I think list value on these ones for pre-owned, I'm going to mark them at $60. I see a lot of the brand new ones selling for like $120. So I think $60 is fair for that. And no, I don't want to pay $20 for every pair of shoes I pick up, but I, I really can't complain for as many as I get for five bucks. Like it's just one of the things you're going to have to deal with here. A couple of these brand, well, at least this brand I'm not familiar with. It really looked like a nice boot, but not familiar with the brand. And we're kind of out of season for that kind of boot. So I passed up on that item but these pair of shoes you know i'm not i'm pretty happy so far so next thing here this is a six pack fitness bag this is the innovator 300 so this is a bag for like meal prep people you know weightlifters bodybuilders people that like just want to eat right and carry their food in like tupperware containers on the go i love these bags i really want you folks to keep your eye out for them this is one of the older models of this bag. They have since kind of upgraded the, at least the exterior, but meal compartment bag, excellent bag. There's a recent sold comp in the $50 range for this exact style and color. So that's what I'm gonna price this at. I'm gonna put it at 50 bucks. And I actually got lucky because I couldn't find a price tag anywhere on the item. So when I went into the store or I went up to the counter, she uh, only charged me $2.99 for it, which was way more than fair. So that kind of made up a little bit for the $20 pair of shoes. But if you see these, and this is going to be the third one that I've sold probably in the last two months of these bags, when you see them, run comps on them because they're really well made and there's not much like it that I've seen on the market. So a couple of good finds right off the bat. I'm looking for, in this area, holiday items and you know with july coming up there might be a spike in christmas items even though christmas sells year round but i just recently sold actually saw today not my sold but a department 56 like dickens village collection like the 12 days of christmas just sold for between three and four hundred dollars the entire collection and they're not they weren't huge but that was an unbelievable sale to have for whoever made that in in the month of may so I'm checking Christmas all year round and hoping to find something similar. This was a nice candle by Slacken. It might've been a Bath and Body Works candle, brand new, five bucks. I didn't pick it up. You know, I'm you know second guessing myself now, like maybe I should have, because this definitely would have sold at the end of the year, but I think my $5 is better spent elsewhere. I'm looking for kind of higher dollar items in this thrift store trip. I have so much bread and butter, $25 items, you know, like that salt and pepper shaker right there. So I'm kind of passing up on, on items like that in lieu of things that I can find that are over $30, but I'm definitely checking Christmas stuff because again, with July looming, you never know. This Logitech keyboard right here, this is a K780. This is a great bolo if all of the compart all the pieces are together, but you can see that back battery panel was missing and the um, receiver was also missing, so I passed on that at $13. I also passed on this. This was like a really mid-century modern looking lamp here. It looked like it had some damage on the shade, so I kind of passed up on that. But even with just the few items that I have, I'm pretty satisfied. So I moved over to another store and this store had even less than the first store, but here's a pair of shoes that I've never sold before. So please keep your eye out for this. This is an MBT. I think these are called Tembias. And the model number you'll see here in just a second. And seriously, these are like boat anchors. They're like five pounds, they're super heavy. 
um, 400-126-55. Now for that style number, there are only three currently listed, but 12 have sold in the last 90 days. So I'm grabbing these and I think $40 will be a fair price to list those at. They are really, really heavy, but the quality looks um, pretty good. They, they, felt, they felt sturdy, that's for sure. And um, pretty happy with that. I don't, I don't know the rest of these brands I'm looking at. I, there, there could be some bolos here. I, is Bear Traps a bolo? That just looks like a really generic Merrill, if you ask me. And then a couple of them had flaws, the ones I'm looking at here, no, uh, no laces. So I passed up on that. I could only find that one pair of shoes, but I'll take it for 40 bucks. Then I had to go pick up a buddy and move over to the last store for the day. So this Easton bat here, she brought me luck. This is a Mako Torque. The model number is BB15MKT. I looked at the condition of this bat and then compared it to the Solds recently. You can see there, even with that damage, don't let that deter you from, um, like a loose grip, don't let that deter you from making a purchase. This bat recently sold for 90. There's another one that sold for 70. They only want $3 for this bat, and I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take it, and I might list it aggressively, even in that condition, for $70 based on the solds that I see. So yeah, I mean, even in a, a very similar condition, and there's nothing wrong with the barrel, it's just you know some paint chipping and whatnot. Don't pass up on bats, we're still in the thralls of baseball season, so that was a pretty fantastic find. I'm happy with that, and I'm hoping that that sells relatively quickly if I price it aggressively at uh, seventy dollars. So we'll see. I just recently sold the thermostat for I think it was one forty. So I always check thermostats here, and they want ten dollars for this one. The model number on this one is RTH. It's a Honeywell, obviously. RTH sixty five hundred WF. There are eleven currently listed under that model number, but eighteen have sold in the last ninety days. So I'm checking the condition to make sure that it is a um, new open box. And nothing that I see on the device leads me to believe that this was previously installed. So I'll purchase this at 10 and I may have to list it, Hope you know, on the high end, it, I would get $40. More realistically, I'll get 30 or it will land somewhere in between 30 and 40. But for $10, I'm gonna take it because thermostats sell for me really well. And the list to sell ratio on that one was a uh, green light. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Hey there. So yeah, those were good finds there. Next, a pair of shoes I've never sold before. So this is, believe it or not, free people. And these are Atlas ankle boots. Now the list to sell ratio for this one is 14 currently listed and four sold. So they're a size 38, which I think is a women's seven and a half. I've never sold this brand of shoe before, but the style looked fantastic. So I'm gonna chance it, but I'm gonna be very aggressive on my price. I think $35 for these is a fair asking price. Again, not knowing any better about free people footwear, but those just looked amazing, really clean. And, um, you know, four solds at a relatively high dollar amount. I think being aggressive at 35 makes a lot of sense. LL Bean, you actually see in one of my uh, upcoming what sold videos, I sold an LL Bean item for $200, so stay tuned for that. But this is a Scrabble. I have never seen an LL Bean Scrabble set before. So deluxe limited edition. There is a current, and you can see it, they want $9 for it. There's one currently listed for 30, but if you look at the solds, the solds hover in the 70 to $80 range. So I might just wait for that $30 current listing to sell and list mine at 70 and just wait for that one to disappear. And then, you know, mine shows up as like the lowest priced one. So that's what I think I'm gonna do with that set. And then uh, to finish it off here, I find a nice pair of Keens. These are Keen Voyagers. They are a size nine, and so there are 15 currently listed for the Voyager style. And in a size nine, uh, not, excuse me, nine currently listed, but 15 have recently sold. So what that tells me is that the size nine for this shoe is a very desirable size, and these are really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these and list them at probably around $35, I think $35. There, there have been some sold comps that I think sold for a little bit higher and some that have sold low, lower, so I'm just gonna kinda sit in the middle. It's actually a pair of shoes that I passed up here that I wanna show you. It's their Echo Biomes. I didn't comp these, and again, with Echo, I'm very cautious outside of their sandals because of my experience with how low quality their dress shoes have been. So I passed up on those, but that could be a bolo. I know nothing about their sneakers, so I can't really speak intelligently on them. But um, I passed up on those, but really like comparing everything that I've got here, 
uh, I did pretty well. If you total it all up, I've got $390 worth of listed value items and I only spent uh, just over 59 bucks. So pretty good haul. I'm just checking the rest of these carts that have just come out to see if there's anything I might miss. But overall, I have some pretty nice items that I'm excited to sell. Really quickly before I let you go, if you see these Victoria's Secret plush dogs, don't pass them up. Now you see I paid $7 for this, but there were three other ones in here. It's the Pelotonia dogs that you really want to look for. I'm gonna put comps on the screen for you. I have each one of those actually currently listed in my inventory. And yeah, a $50 sold comp, a $70 to $80 sold comp, and a bunch of $30 ones. If you look for those Pelotonia ones, uh, you got some good money on your hands, so I think I'll probably just lot these ones up and sell them all together for uh, you know a, a cheaper price than the other ones. But keep your eye out for the Victoria's Secret, Pelotonia puppy dogs because there's good value in those, so don't pass them up. All right, Gwenny is playing Animal Crossing, and I think we are going to have to head to the playground because I did promise her that we would take that trip, so I'm headed in that direction, but thank you so much for tuning in. A little housekeeping, as always, hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today, and then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.